Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we're going to be checking out the Spinnaker Dumas. I can't help it, but every time I think of uh, Dumas, I think of this. So, am I your man, Mr. Dumbass? The name is Dumas. So the Dumas was first released a while back. Uh, the watch was met with fantastic reception, actually an immediate sellout. Uh, and then they introduced it on a mesh bracelet or as an accessory, and the success of the watch was amazing. We were never able to get many of them because they kept selling out at the manufacturer. Uh, so now we kind of have like a re-release or kind of like a, a Rev 2 of the watch. I have four of them here to show you. Uh, Dumas uh, is named after a famous diver, uh, an actual person. Uh, that's where the actual, uh, that's where the name comes from. Uh, but we will, um, we'll check out all four of them today. You can see them in the flesh. I myself am wearing as the light streams in from the window, it makes it very difficult. The Islander, I don't know, I think this is O2, which is the one with the SKX dive bezel. And then I haven't switched watches really much. I'm still wearing my Damasco DS30 Ocean Blue um, that I had my company logo monogrammed on the back. So I'm really enjoying this on the Hirsch Robbie strap. Uh, an amazing strap. Um, you know, it's a $90 strap. Uh, I can kind of see why. It really works in any situation. Very comfortable. Um, let's check this spinnaker out. So the new Dumas, as I said, comes uh, in four flavors. What do we got? We got a black, a white, a yellow, and a blue. They all come on this pretty cool, pretty thick mesh strap. Uh, they are all powered by the same movement. And as usual, guys, it's all the same thing. So um, I'm actually going to start with the white one today because I got a hankering for a white dial diver. We talk about it a lot. So let's, um, let's show one, right? So this is the Dumas. All the Dumases are uh, part number SP-5081. And then the last two digits gives you the color. Uh, so they are all running on Seiko's NH35 movement, which is a hand winding hacking movement, uh, about a 40 hour power reserve. The 35 is a date only, uh, converse with the 36, which is a day end date. Um, screw down crown, hand winds, hacks when I pull up the crown to set the time, the seconds hand stops. Uh, let's see, uh, we've got 300 meters of water resistance, as you can see plainly on the dial, or a thousand feet. Uh, let's go over the size. So, sorry, smaller wristed people, um, not for you. 44 millimeters in, if you want to call it diameter, technically diameter is for a circle, right? But this is more of like a, a 70s inspired design, almost uh, like an octagon. Uh, 44 millimeters across, 16 thick but very generous on the tip to tip, 47 and a half. So it's going to wear uh, quite well, uh, not like you would think the 44 millimeter size would tell you. Uh, like the bottle cap, the Seiko bottle cap and some others, the watch really lacks lugs. The bracelet slips into the case. Speaking of the bracelet, it is a 22 millimeter lug. It fits nicely inside there and it is a thick, four millimeter Milanese mesh with a deployant buckle, which I'll go over in a second. It is signed and actually has a stainless steel keeper. Pretty nifty, really cool. Uh, let's see, I went over the uh, 22 millimeters. Uh, the water resistance, the crystal is a flat anti-reflective sapphire, so it's not going to scratch on you. The bezel as well is a sapphire coated bezel with loom on the indices and uh, loom or super luminova hands and markers as well let's um look at the dial as usual from spinnaker look at the dial work check out the many layers you have going on attention to detail is there beautiful use of color on the hands uh, the minute hand being the dominant hand uh, plunger style hand that you have there uh, you know touches the minute track very easy to read um, rotating bezel without numerical markings, 120 click. I'm not sure how useful that would be at a glance. You know, obviously not very useful, right? Uh, but it completes the look and it certainly sets off the watch. You know, the blue with the blue and the white works well. Flip it over. 
exhibition case back, spinnaker, um, monogrammed uh, rotor, and I'm trying to get the light right. You can see the water resistance, 300 meters, sapphire, model number, automatic, stainless steel. Very substantial watch, as I said. The size is 44. The weight is 204 grams with the bracelet. So how do you use this bracelet? Well, it's a sliding clasp. So what you have to do is you find... Um, yeah, look underneath here. Whoops, see that little door I just flipped? You, it's a, it's a, um, a, a trial and error kind of thing. As I try to force this through, give me a second. There it goes. Uh, you find where you want to be on the tightness scale. You do it a bunch of times. Uh, and then you take this and you flip it down. It snaps. It's stuck now. And now you can go like this. And it's a friction deployant. You have a stainless steel keeper. I'm not sure how well this stainless steel is going to stay. Uh, it's not rubber, so there's not much stiction, if you will, or static friction. Uh, so I'm going to say this is probably going to tend to slide on you while it's in use, but um, I really can't comment on it because I have not used it that much. But what it does do is that when you want to take the watch off, you just go like that, and the watch is ready to battle another day. Uh, white dial with blue accents. Black dial with orange accents and a little bit of green on the bezel. Really nice looking. Look at the way the markers stand off the dial. Looks awesome. Coolness, okay, so we did the white, we did the black, the blue, which, you know, normally you, obviously I would say is my favorite, but I think in, in this case, um, it's a very deep blue. I think the blue for me is being usurped by the white, and I'm going to show you the yellow. I think the yellow is a real shocker. Uh, but now we have orange with the orange markings. On the white dial, we had the red. On the, on the black dial, we had the uh, orange as well. Looks cool. And then what I think is, this might be the standout for me. I don't know, the white or the yellow, I'm not sure. But here's the yellow dial with the red hand, red minutes hand and the red accents around the dial it just looks beautiful um let's um let's try on since the white, white one i already put together let's try it on and then we'll do a loom shot before i do i had to take this one off the left wrist uh for the wrist shot just totally in love with this damasco I'm not sure i showed you the back yet maybe i did on instagram uh i had it engraved with my logo and the year so it was something cool to do you know, they'll engrave anything on, on the back of a watch, any graphic or image, people's faces. So cool. So quick two-second commercial for Damasco. So there she is on my six and three-quarter inch wrist, below the bone, above the bone. Obviously, I didn't size it for myself. I got a lot. There's, there's excuse me, there's a lot of room to go here. Um, I did measure the strap. It is around a one... 20 by 75 ish so i would say uh, you're probably gonna go up to like a seven and three seven and three quarter inch wrist or so on this one uh, but the bracelet check how beefy it is you know it just really matches um the uh i guess the, the feel and the heft of the watch absolutely so we'll do the loom shot next uh so there they are lined up beforehand you can see the two on the left uh, certainly glow the best. They don't all use the same amounts of loom. Um, they all have glowing bezels, um, but you can see the uh, I believe it's the white dial and the yellow dial um, a little bit less uh, luminosity. Still very readable, but compared to the black and the blue dial, I guess to pardon the pun, they really don't hold a candle. And just following up on that, I mean, I can see with my eyes. I'm sure you can see it on camera. The loom on the white and yellow is a much lighter tinge or a whiter tinge than uh, the black and the blue. Obviously, this has a little bit of a greenish tinge of loom. Uh, so that is your difference in luminosity. Wow, I'm done, and I can't believe it. I never mentioned price, and that totally was not on purpose. Um, I usually try to mention it more towards the beginning. I actually didn't write it down on my on my uh, cheat sheet here, so I totally forgot to talk about it, uh, but I know it offhand. These are f about 400 bucks uh, for any of the four colors, so there you go. Uh, that's about it. This has been Mark from LongNailWatch.com showing you the uh, new Spinnaker Dumas. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.